a brand off of that team that we just showed. And that is nothing but a mid-table team and a struggling mid-table team. A team that within a couple of results is in a relegation battle. Do you think announcing that Pogba is out on the Wednesday before the game, when there's days to go yet, is, is silly? And I would like to think that it's all a smokescreen because he is really going to play. But I think the game where Liverpool must go in a proper state of the When this fixture comes about, you know, and I say it time and time again, it is the fixture. There's no question about that. You represent a city and a group of supporters, you know, where there's a great rivalry over many years. This game's got to have fire, it's got to have thunder. Yeah, it might be draws, but there has to be incident. You can't let these games drift. It's the right up there with the biggest fixture that you, you're looking for all season. This felt different because of what was at stake. Losing couldn't be considered. James with the ball in. Marcus! They didn't work. Anthony Martial. Error. Oh, no one could get a touch. And that effort is brilliantly struck. What a magnificent strike. Scott the top. Oh, Rashford. He could make up for his error here. Rashford, brilliant. No miss. Rashford, brilliant. Martial's in. Yes. No Thirty-five yards, maybe. easily. Yeah, it, but it's one of those where you, you, it can maybe bounce, bounce in front of the keeper or something like that. You can make it move in the air. Um, Rashford's certainly going to take it. I mean, look how far the wall is. Far out it is. It gives you an idea of just how far out this is for Marcus Rashford. Josh King takes it down, wriggles free and scores! Well, the Manchester United old boy strikes against... Yeah, yeah but could have, should have, that's football and some, it's decided on margins uh, so many times and for us we've had a good period uh, going into this game, now we've got to react to a defeat and I'm sure we will. Maybe my uh, mistake, maybe I should have... Uh, should have, could have played uh, a couple of other uh, with fresh legs, but then uh, I thought the ones uh, that played against Norwich deserved uh, another chance. McTominay, Fred, Rashford, Wambasaka, Lindelof, Maguire, all crap second half. I wonder why those players were all crap second half. Because they're tired. Why are they tired? 90 minutes last Sunday. 90 minutes on Wednesday, 90 minutes Saturday lunchtime. We've just played over half of our first team three times in six days. We paid one matter, £140,000 a week, wrongly to stay at the club and give him a two-year contract. How many minutes has he played in three games? None. Phil Jones, we gave him a five-year contract. How many minutes has he played in the last three, the last three games? None. Well, absolutely nothing in the air. We're, we're losing one nil against Bournemouth and we're clapping our players across the field like we've just fucking, like we've just won it. 
like we've just like, like, like we've just beat like uh, the, the Liverpool. We just lost one 0 against Bournemouth. We we and we're clapping. It's like, yeah, have to be held to account. Five hundred fans clapping our players like they've done a good job. They've played shit. They've they've not done a good job. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, Lindelof. He done a fantastic job today. Fred. He worked his ass off, but he's not good enough to play for Manchester United. He's not good enough to play for Manchester United. He is not a centre midfielder that is good enough to play for Manchester United.